Go back to living it away. Can you believe the Waikiki Aquarium is celebrating its 150, 115th no. birthday this year? That's I amazing. was blown away by that too, and it's been a while since I've actually been down there. So I decided to take Mikey with me on an excursion to Waikiki to check out what's new and, of course, have some fun. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot has changed in Waikiki over the past few years, even, but there's one local attraction that's been standing and going strong for more than a century. That's right. We're at the Waikiki Aquarium today, and we're going to be learning about what they have planned for their 115th anniversary. All right, let's go meet Dr. Andrew Roster and find out about this amazing attraction here. Thanks for having us over. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming down. Rich history for the aquarium. Tell us about it. Absolutely. It's uh, 115 years old. It was first opened on March the 19th, 1904. The reason it was built here was by the Honolulu Transit Authority at that time. The objective was there was a cable car running along, along Kalakaua, and the terminus, the end station, was about 300 yards towards Waikiki from where we are now. And so they built an aquarium there to attract visitors to the end of the line. So the old aquarium was there, and then 62, 63 years ago, they moved it to here. And that's where we've been ever since. So we did talk about the event that's happening later on this month. Now, could you give us a little bit more insight of what visitors can expect? It's a full day, 9 o'clock until 2 o'clock. Lots of family-oriented events, painting. There's hands-on things for the kids. There's educational programs. So come down and have a, have a fun time. And then in the evening, there's a, a fundraising event being held on the aquarium grounds. Uh, local restaurants have stepped in to help out and provide food. There's numerous restaurants there. There's numerous, numerous uh, adult drink providers, so it'll be a fun evening for everyone. And details of that can be found on our website. So many great things to do to celebrate the 115th year. And also, there's a great new exhibit. Talk about that. Yeah, it's our most recent exhibit. It opened on the 15th of February, and it's called The Living Reef, and it highlights corals which are uh, obviously a critically important part of the reefs around Hawaii and throughout the South Pacific. When we were planning it, there were two main points we wanted to make. One was that corals are, are not the white things that you often see in gift shops. That's actually the coral skeleton, the dead, inert part of the coral. We wanted to bring it home to visitors that corals are actually living organisms. Right. A lot of stuff that visitors should know, especially when they're coming to the islands. Now, speaking of the visitors, what do you think is it about the aquarium that attracts visitors to come every year? You know, I think probably every visitor comes here because of the wonderful climate and the environment we have here. And I would hazard a guess that over 90% of them either go down to the side of the ocean or actually get in it. Most of them come here because they want to familiarize themselves and learn about the amazing fishes, invertebrates, corals we have around these islands. All right, Dr. Rossiter, it's been a while since I've been here. Came when my kids were about this high. So for Mikey and I to have the ultimate experience, what do you suggest we do here? Put aside an hour, hour and a half, and just wander through the galleries, take in what's there. Look very closely because we're not a big wow aquarium like you have on the mainland, but what we prefer to look at this place is we emphasize quality over quantity. Every exhibit is in itself a little masterpiece. All the coral you see in the exhibits are alive. Look really closely and you'll see small animals coming out from the corals, little shrimps, little crabs, and it's exactly what you would see if you were scuba diving around the islands. Well, thank you, Doctor. It sounds awesome. Now, is it okay if Tanya and I take a look around? Absolutely. Thanks. Let's do this. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, the hands-on exhibit so fun mm -hmm. there with the little crabs and... Look at uh, you guys. Yeah. Aww. Aww. A little wave, you. right? <laughs> and, of course, well, Wait. we couldn't take you, but... Look at this. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> In oh. spirit, yes. We'll have to post the photos we got from our little souvenir yeah. slideshow at the end. Yeah. We'll put it on our Instagram account. It was oh, fun. I mean, I was like, I literally sat in my car after. I was like, this is our job. We go to Waikiki. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Sometimes I feel bad showing the kids. No, I, I, Mom didn't do this for work today. Yeah, was, I'll have to take them. <laughs> it was boring, Hannah and Kai's. Well, the aquarium brings us to our tech check. 